Luna Celine, and today I'm going to share with you guys how you can use one sticker kit to decorate three different spreads and I'm going to be using different planners so you guys get different ideas of how you can get the most out of your sticker kits. This one right here is from my very own sticker shop planwithbelinda.com and so I'm going to show you guys how I use six and a half different sheets, seven sheets all together but I count the last one as half a sheet. Every time that I launch a new design, it sells out within 24 hours. So I decided to do a pre-order and that goes until March 30th and then I will start shipping them June 1st. That way you'll guarantee to get a kit and then I will still have them on my shop to buy after March 30th but they will only be there until they sell out and then once they sell out, they will no longer be available. So I would highly recommend for you guys to put in your pre-order now. That way you guys can get it. The planner that I use on a daily basis is a happy planner. So even though the stickers are made to fit the Erin Condren planners, I'm gonna show you guys inside of the happy planner. And if you guys are wondering where I get my covers from, they are from Stylish Planners. She has her very own shop. I'll have all of her information down in the description box below because there are some of my favorites. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tear out the papers from my happy planner. And then I'm going to use this washi tape which came inside of the Scarlet Lime Planner Society subscription box. This is definitely one of the very best subscription boxes to subscribe to because it is so affordable and you get so many different things. So you always get a stamp, a clip, you get tons of different stickers. You also get like really cute embellishments. Sometimes they throw in like a bag or I don't know, different things. Like I think one time they threw in like a pencil case, another time they had like a sticker book. Um, you're always guaranteed to get stickers and really cute fun like journaling cards. They just have it all and the designs are extremely unique. So there is a design who designs all of this she's a great artist and she is amazing and then you also get tons of scrapbook paper and also other really fun paper that's great for like a dashboard or a cover or anything like that so I'm gonna use the washi tape because I noticed that it matched the stickers that I have and also I wanted to cover up that purple that's there since the purple is not in my sticker kit and then I'm just gonna use a hole puncher from the happy planner and it's going to give me like the perfect cuts so you're not cutting too much off of it and then it won't go back inside of your planner now I'm gonna go ahead and reach for that half sheet and these are the sticker dates so you can put these over your dates and they're so cute and don't worry you're not covering up the date of the month because there's extra little numbers that you can add so you can literally add this to any planner I know some people have purchased like old Erin Condren planners from like previous years and then use these kits to make sure that the date is correct and so I think that's a great idea because you can get it at a discount so now I'm gonna grab the other sheet which includes like a bunch of uh, washi tape which is great for the bottom and then these deco stickers or these what are they like square stickers whatever they are are some of my favorite they just really stand out and look so cute Every day I like to put down a sticker for my to-do list because I always have things that I have to check off. It keeps me on my game so I make sure that I'm doing everything that I'm supposed to be doing. And then I also upload videos on Friday so I just added that. I added some more of the washi tape stickers on top and it matches the bottom perfectly so those are some of my favorite. I made sure to include those in my sticker kit along with the weekend sticker. And then once again we're covering up this purple with a another strip of washi and some more stickers and then we got some more deco stickers and I just love how it looks it makes my planner pretty and the stickers are also very efficient and help me be very productive so I like all this space I'm just gonna leave it blank for you guys I wanted you to get an idea of what the stickers will look like inside of your planner and as you can see there's still plenty of space for me to write all the things that I have to do and then it also I can spread that kit and use it in other planners so that I can get the most out of my sticker kits all right, so this is what it looks like if you were to use, I would say about 80% of the stickers inside of an Erin Condren planner. They fit perfectly inside each box. But now I'm gonna show you guys how I use it inside of my personal size planner. So this one right here is from the Kiki K planner and I just took out a dashboard so that I can go ahead and add this really pretty paper to the front. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and hole punch it and add it to the front. But I did want something for June and I wanted it to be special. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut some more of that paper that came from the Planner Society kit. A subscription box and so I'm just gonna do the same thing trace it out add some holes in there and then this is a deco sticker that I had left over and it's so big and beautiful which you can add on the side of your planner if you'd like in a regular size planner or you can also add it as a dashboard so it, there's like so many things that you can do with these sticker kits and so now I'm gonna use the remaining of the sticker kit to 
decorate the inside of a personal size planner and I like the way that the little banners look at the bottom so I'm just gonna go ahead and add it to the bottom and to the top and I love how bright it looks and I'm also going to go ahead and add some deco stickers and this little girl right here is just the cutest I love this deco sticker and then like the flowers they're great for like the corners and they look so good and then Ricardo and I are actually taking a vacation to the Virgin Islands I freaked out when I found out we were going so I had to make sure to add that on there and just added like the little plane sticker that also comes um, with the sticker kit and then of course um, I went ahead and I highlighted our trip along with the dates that I get paid I pay myself and I have to keep track of it it's like done through this program it's just a long process so I have to make sure that I keep tabs on that and remember and so now let's decorate a weekly spread in a personal size planner the other one was a monthly spread I'm pretty sure you could already tell by that and so now I'm gonna use that same washi tape because it just really stands out and it's my favorite I love those colors and then I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that I punch in some holes so that the washi tape doesn't cover them when I'm trying to add inside of my planner and then I'm just gonna highlight some things that are going on like the day that we're leaving and then also use the little banners for the checklist on there and they fit perfectly inside of these boxes these inserts are from the recollections Michaels um, planner and then I just stuck them inside of a Kiki K planner if you guys were curious and then I'm just gonna add some decal stickers super cute since we're going to be on a tropical island and so so this just matches perfectly. Are any of you guys going on vacation uh, in the next couple of months? Because this would just fit in perfectly if you're going like on a tropical vacation. So that is all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know which one was your favorite. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Muchas besos. Mwah.